Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and today video I'm going to announce very interesting news about the Databricks is that they have introduced a new addition of Databricks community and which is absolutely free. Okay, so what I meant is that, you know, if you want to, I mean, before when you were using Databricks community addition, you there were some limited features like, you know, we can only run uh, run some jobs and we, we can only, you know, use their notebooks, right? But now, today, what they have done, they have introduced every feature for free in the community addition. Okay. It is community now, database community. Correct. So if you want to use database for free, you can use it. You can only use serverless computer over there. So let me go through the uh, uh, let me go through the process, how you can use those, how you can set up, your, set up your account. And if you have already existing account, you can also leverage the same thing over there, right? And with that, the same exact project also I have built on my uh, using, you know, vector search, using those serverless, using warehouse and so. So if now, if you want, you can use this free addition and you can build the project for free. There's no need to spend a lot of money to buying the subscription of Databricks, right? Put the files into the volume, manage volume, and then you can leverage this stuff, right? So there's no need to pay any single amount of money nowadays, right? So let me share my screen and go through the process. Hey, okay, very good. So this is the course. Uh, let me just go through the course first. You can see this is the link I will share in the description box. You can see around seven hours of content. It's a mini project. Not I, I, I won't say it's a mini project, but it has many things, you know, architecture, data, data sets. You can watch these two videos for free. Then there, you know, in, in, ingestion data from, you know, from uh, ST to Unity catalog. So in this case, you can put the files into one of the catalog into volumes, and then you can bring the files into the branch layer using, you know, using the same method. Right, cleaning the branch data, ingest data into code layer, vector search. So the, here I have used here vector search. Before I have to pay a lot of money in the vector search, right? But now it is free. So if you want, you can build this project for free. And we have set up model endpoints and applications. Now if I go to here, so this is this is one of my already you know set up account. So you can see this is my personal account. Here, here you can see it is hosted on US East 2. Right. You can see workflow. We can create. We have job runs over here. If you want you can create jobs. Daga daga daga. Right. And even though we have DLT pipelines enabled. Now if I go to compute, you will see we you can see SQL warehouse, vector search and apps. Apps also we can deploy. So we can learn more things in coming days. Correct. Now we have vector search. So you can go here, right? Test, confirm. Very good. It will sync it. Right. So I do not want it. So delete it. Now, what we have, we have serving endpoints too. You can leverage these models. See, Databricks is now booming. They have a lot of features. They are giving everything for free. So better to leverage this. We have dashboard too. You can build your dashboard. Very good. Very good. Right, we have marketplace too. Wow. And then da, 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 we have catalogs too. Correct. So you can create your own catalog if I am not wrong. And I don't think so. We should be able to get a meta store. Okay. So meta store, we already have it. Right. So you can create your catalog over here. Create catalog. Test. Okay, see, it, is, it has been created. Now you can create your schema, you can create your table, volumes, models, blah, 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 right? So, okay, very good. Now, how you, now there might be some users who wants to know how you can set up it. So go to this website. I will give the link in the description box. Try, click on try Databricks. Okay, click on here. Quickly set up on database. I will manage. Okay, you can. We can click on it, and uh, I can give another email ID. Let's see whether it works or not. So, what I have to do? I have to open my different account. It came here. Copy it. I'll go back, 
paste it. Oh, it's not getting paced. 479, 479, and T8G. T8G. Okay, very good. If you want, you can you know, uh, put India also. I am from India, basically. Okay, nice. Da -da -da. Is it? Or is it? This is the one. Submit it. Once it is done, oh, it's not correct. Try again. No problem. Right. Now it launched a new workspace for free and it is hosted on AWS if I'm not wrong. Okay, very good. So it's launching a workspace. It will take some one minute or two minutes. Okay. And it's all done. Right? Again, it's a free resource, managed trial. Oh, it's hosted on AWS. So we got only 40 free credits over here. Okay, so there's no need to you know, add some money over here. So it is free. Very good. Now, if I go and see, show you here, 